The CAN Converter is an award-winning UL classified product that allows easy, affordable transformation from an ordinary CAN light to a variety of lighting design choices. This presentation will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions for installing the R56 CAN Converter in conjunction with a ceiling fan. Before you begin, you will need to have a few tools on hand. Make sure you have a power drill, a slotted screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a marker, wire cutters, and safety goggles. To get started, lay out the contents of the CAN converter box. Your box will contain a power outlet adapter with power leads, a mounting bracket, three offset sliding brackets, three flathead screws, each with a wing nut or number 10 nuts, two brass nuts and a threaded pipe, a mounting plate, both a flat medallion and a beveled medallion, a reducer bushing, and three self-tapping screws. Before we start the installation, turn on the light switch to the can you will be replacing. In your breaker box, make sure you shut off the power to that switch. At this point, you may want to do any pre-assembly for your ceiling fan fixture. Also, choose the medallion you want to use. If your fan comes with a large canopy, you will not need a medallion. Just follow the instructions for using the flat medallion. On your existing can light, remove the light bulb and the can trim. Next, put together the mounting bracket assembly using the mounting bracket, the three offset sliding brackets, and the three flat head screws along with the wing nuts. Within your existing can housing, there is a metal bracket that holds the light socket. If it is adjustable, loosen the wing nut and slide the bracket to the top of the can housing. Then tighten the wing nut and screw in the can converter power outlet adapter. If your socket is not adjustable, just remove the socket from the trim. Then screw the can converter power outlet adapter into the socket. Near the base of your existing can light, you may see no metal screws or you may see one to four screws. If the screws are not in a triangular configuration, remove one screw. Set the assembled mounting bracket in position to utilize the existing screw hole. Using a can converter self-tapping screw, lightly secure one offset sliding bracket to the can. Loosen the wing nuts and slide the offset sliding brackets so that they make contact with the inside wall of the can housing. Mark the lock positions of the other two offset bracket holes on the can housing. Loosen the self-tapping screw and remove the mounting bracket assembly. Using your power drill, screw the self-tapping screws into the marks through to the can housing. Only screw the screws in halfway. Reinsert the mounting bracket and position the offset sliders onto the three self-tapping screws and lock into position. Then, tighten the screws securely into the can housing. If your existing can's mounting screws are in a triangular position, remove them and replace them with the self-tapping screws. Use the existing screw holes to mount the offset brackets. Loosen the wing nuts on the long flathead screws. Place the medallion against the ceiling and adjust the length of the flathead screws so that the heads rest about 1 16th of an inch inside the back of the medallion. If using the flat medallion, the screw heads will be inside the can. If you are using the beveled medallion, the screw heads will rest about 1 half inch below the base of the can. Now, tighten the wing nuts. Run the wires from the power outlet adapter and the ground wire down through the hole in the mounting bracket. Run the wires through the threaded pipe, then screw the pipe into the mounting bracket. Place your medallion at the opening against the threaded pipe. Screw the pipe upward so that it extends beyond the medallion by one quarter inch. Remove the medallion. Screw the nut onto the threaded pipe all the way up to the mounting bracket and tighten the nut. Screw the mounting plate onto the threaded pipe so that the plate rests against the heads of the flathead screws. 
Thread the second nut through the wires and tighten the nut onto the threaded pipe to secure the mounting plate to the pipe. Raise the medallion up to the ceiling, followed by the fan hanger bracket. Run the power outlet adapter wires and ground wire through the side of the fan bracket. Screw the fan hanger bracket onto the mounting plate. Now, lift the fan and capture its ball joint in the fan hanger bracket. Cut off any excess wire. Using wire nuts, pair together the fixture's hot wire and the power outlet adapter's hot wire, the subsequent neutral wires, and the ground wires. Capture the wiring inside the fan canopy. Then, using the two canopy attachment screws, screw the canopy onto the fan's hanger bracket. Turn the power back on at your breaker box and enjoy your new lighting fixture.